Hello lovely ones, welcome in. I'm gonna be seeing what comes out, but I have been advised to uh, arrange my readings a certain way. So I'm gonna be aiming to do three readings a day, all with a different kind of platform, um, you know, of consciousness. So this is a reading to help us design our own personal heaven on earth for us to remember what it's all about, you know. So I'm curious as to where this one's going to go. And uh, let's see what uh, what's going to come out. This is, uh, this is a reading with a Persian undertone because the Persians were the ones who created the first idea of paradise with their walled gardens. They, they love their gardens and they managed to irrigate and, and pull water into the desert and create a beautiful oasis, a beautiful paradiso. So I'm going to see where this is going to gonna take us. Okay. I feel like the ones who can't be trusted and the ones that you should hold back from are really being highlighted at the moment. You know, I feel like it's becoming really glaringly obvious because I just opened the deck on the Knight of Wands and the Devil again. So the more we evolve and the more we raise our consciousness and the more we embrace our power and the wholeness of who we are, the more the fake ones are going to reveal themselves. And they are squirming. You see them on the comments. They're getting a little bit squirmy because their team were supposed to take me out. Uh, they've been trying to take me out since I was a kid and they just can't fucking do it. So anyway, they're squirming in the comments with their little derogatory ways, okay? I find it hilarious. It's giving me, it's giving me a, a, lot of, a lot of jokes, you know? I'm like, yeah, keep making me laugh. Okay, Ace of Swords. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we've got the temperance, the four of cups. So bravo, darlings. You are learning when to hold back your love, okay? So you don't want to listen to these new age hippies who are all like, love and light and love everyone. I get where they're coming from. I understand. We live in such a dichotomous universe. But the tree of life and the Kabbalah tells us we need that pillar of severity. We need to know when to give our love and when to be neutral. And I feel like you're learning when to be neutral, right? You're learning when to hold back and avoid nightmares. We've got the nine of swords on the table, the four of swords, the four of cups, temperance. So you're, you're learning how precious your inner potions are. The energies that you flow to people and who you choose to engage with or merge your entire world with. Because remember, when we, you know, when we mix our consciousness in with another person, we literally blend our storylines together it's like blending two movie reels together so you're learning when to like be like no miss me with that one you know you you're sort of seeing further on down the line where it would end up being it's like it's like algebra in a way but but it's like mixing potions it's like chemistry you're learning when your essence is too precious to be mixed with people who would only lead you down a nightmarish pathway so I'm getting that your instincts are really becoming evolved here. I'm going to put this Ace of Swords up here because, uh, yeah, I like it. Okay, Eight of Pentacles underneath that. We've got the Lovers here. We've got the Queen of Cups. There we go. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. <laughs> and the Three of Cups. Okay. So there's something relevant about this Eight of Pentacles, okay? So this will tell me you're on your spiritual pathway. You've, you know, you've balanced yourself out here in a way that is taking you onto a much more loving pathway with the lovers and the Queen of Cups. So this is about you understanding how precious your heart's elixir actually is. And you're willing to defend that with the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. And this is leading you to celebration, cutting out the crap and cutting off connections with people that, you know aren't supposed to be on your journey with you is lining your pathway up so that you are going to be celebrating with people who are for you with people who you know are supposed to be in your storyline you know in the movie of your life so that's looking pretty good let's clarify these and we'll see where this is going discernment is very important here okay and you're feeling you're feeling into, you know, people's souls and you can feel the energy more. So this isn't about logic, this reading. This is all about the heart. This is all about how you feel 
Three of Wands. Yeah, you're preserving your energy for those big moves, for those big golden pathways. You don't want to be pulled off the garden pathway into the bushes, into the brambles, you know? And, you know, we've all been through it where we do that and it's like, whoa, we expect people to be kind and we expect people to be loving. And then they reveal the truth of the universe to us, that they're malevolent, that they run, they run their ship on an upside down blueprint. Two teams, remember? The positive polarity, those of us who hold beautiful, beautiful invisible potions in our personal non-physical apothecary. And then you've got those ones who, uh, they like the poison. Darlings, we've only got to look at nature and the array of animals available and realize that humans, you know, we've got the capacity to go in any direction and you're avoiding the poisonous ones here. Nature will keep displaying to humans the true energies available within the human population through the animal world and uh, you know they want you separated from that they don't want you being really attuned to that truth the energetic truth they want you to you know be on their monopoly board and be their little pawn in their countries <laughs> which again are just labeled in our minds right you know the united kingdom is a a registered company guys it's a profit making organization and they want their pawns on the board to make them their money and keep them as the sovereign rulers of the 3d but uh we're coming okay the gods are back the gods have returned so we've got the two of cups here so again this is all about that blending of the heart energy you know and you could be you know better placed in your energy by merging with the ethers more you know pulling that energy through from the non-physical through your focus and devotion and being devoted to yourself so i'm getting that you're really expanding your potion cabinet right now okay four of swords with the ace of pentacles you could be really nurturing yourself here and you know the ace of pentacles is about a pathway that's created and presented to ourselves they're giving me as within so without as above so below so you're creating something internally in your mind uh, maybe giving yourself a rest and, you know, really, really valuing your, your time alone. And this is creating this beautiful, fierce, powerful pathway with the Ace of Pentacles. So it's looking good here. Let's see what this Nine of Swords is about. I feel like you're really trying to avoid the people that bring their world, a chaotic world. And, you know, it's the ones with the most chaotic inner world that have the most uh, well-presented outer act okay they have to lure you in don't they by pretending to be really lovely and pretending to not have a shadow side i don't trust them i don't trust them three of pentacles so there could be someone who's trying to work with you here but if you mixed your conscious world in with theirs look at this this is like a big planet here okay imagine this is your consciousness this is your world this is you and there are these other energies these other planets these other consciousnesses that want to link into your movie into your storyline so yeah i feel like you're aware of that i feel like you're you're already very vigilant with that because you're following your heart here queen of cups with the lovers and and you know spirit is saying yes feel your way through queen of cups energy focus on that holy holy grail and uh, don't ever settle for anything less because the universe is so abundant we we can like you know we can turn away from anything and there's no right or wrong here. It's all right because you chose it. You're an infinite creator, an immortal creator. And whatever you choose in the moment is right for you. There are no mistakes. But following your heart here and following the way things feel, I'm, I'm guessing that, you know, there we go. The lovers with the nine of cups. I was about to say, I'm guessing that there's some beautiful divine connection coming in. Okay, someone who's on your wavelength, someone really beautiful, someone whose conscious world can mix in with yours really well. And I'm getting you're going to have a lot of fun together. Okay, so this could be romantic or otherwise. It could be soul group. It doesn't matter. You know, love is love. And uh, I feel like this is a lot of love with the nine of cups and the two of cups. And it's, it's well worth having your high priestess pillar of severity. Fuck, <laughs> I'm not about to swear again finally really 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 uh strongly positioned what they try and do is act like you've got to be nice to everyone and that's simply not economical okay the uh the animal world will show us this okay and the animals are completely aligned with their higher selves at all times which is why their instincts are so beautiful and they flow so well 
So I'm getting you've got this lovely, uh, they're showing me like a, like a dam breaking, a dam of love. Remember, water is emotion. It's that feeling. Why do we do anything in life? Because we want to feel a certain way. So following how you feel here is the most beautiful thing. And I feel like you're realizing how powerful you are with your words, with your actions, with your intent. And again, we need those pillars uh, to really be balanced. We need to know when to flow our love and when to not flow our love or stick with neutrality or defensiveness okay because we are under no obligation to deal with anyone okay it's all an illusion that uh the uh so say ruling class want you to believe that you have to be this and you have to be that to fit in and be civilized well you know god disagrees god god wants you to seek ye first the kingdom of God, not seek ye first the instruction from man. So I feel like you're really finding the power in your heart here. And there's a lovely faith with the nine of cups and the two of cups for you to, uh, you know, really have faith in that inner energy that you can conjure up. They're showing me your chakra system lighting up and really zoning you into the non-physical. We're constantly connected to the non-physical. And when we get that magic sparked within us, it really does uh it really does flow new energies in so i feel like you're real you're realizing you can anchor in and flow in energies like a dam if you want you know they're telling me van damme so jean claude van damme could be relevant for somebody i knew that eight of pentacles was relevant because it's come out here on the queen of cups so there's something about the love that you pull in that you are a conduit for and it's flowing out of your magnetic field, okay? So I feel like if you have been dealing with people that you kind of want to spin them off, you know, you want to you wanna vibrate so quickly, you want your wheels of your chakra system to spin so quickly that anything low vibrational will fly off, you know? And, you know, essentially, you want to be a repellent, you know, for these energies that you just don't want to mix with here. And I, you know, again, there's this energy of this being like a roundabout and you want to spin it so fast that these Klingons will just fly off into the bushes. OK, so something here about the work to do with your heart and they're showing me a thumbs up like, yes, yes. I feel like it's finally clicking for someone how free you are, how infinite you are. And how you can really pull in. They keep giving me that word anchor, like anchoring in energies. New energies are flowing in through you that have never been seen before on the earth because you're really embracing those uh, those energies in your own unique elixir. They're telling me your Venus sign is very important. Very important because that's the net, net sack, right? That's a, a sphere of consciousness on the tree of life that they want you to understand. You're really swimming in venusian energies right now and uh, for someone out there they don't want you to demonize your venus positioning uh, for example venus and scorpio gets a bad rap it's you know people don't understand venus and scorpios because we need devotion and we don't like cheap low vibrational flesh-based connections we're all about the depth and the soul so they want you to know that's important that you embrace your own personal potions in your magnetic field particularly the venus right now is going to be very important to you let's have a look at this five of swords what's going on death oh wow i feel like someone's embracing that inner warrior and realizing that you know as god's highest creation the human being or as i like to call them the sapien one created of the ape and the aliens become more than the sum of those parts might i add humans or sapien we are the newest kids on the block the human vessel is a very recent creation in the whole entirety of the universe and we are the babies we are the cherubim of the universe which is why we get so much love and support from the non-physicals and we get a lot of non-physical viewers okay we are fascinating we we are fascinating we are essentially like the reality tv for the etheric world to watch and support us and flow energy in i feel like someone's embracing their inner warriorship okay i'm here i don't have to be nice to you i don't know you know in what context this is but this is strength here five of swords this is you holding your ground at any cost and the universe rewards that when you won't be swayed by people who are trying to control you or influence your mind okay and projecting their own insanity and delusion onto you so you're breaking free here i feel like this is a breakout this is you really taking responsibility for your own infinite infinite beingness you know so the higher self here is really important too so I'm I'm hearing I'm not I'm not doing that I'm not your slave I'm I'm not 
living for you, you know, so beautiful five of wands with the seven of wands yes the fortress of sovereignty the fortress of the higher self really you know knowing that you're infinite and knowing that everything you love on this planet you create versions of that your higher self and your whole soul group get to benefit from okay we are creators of worlds and you know i feel like someone's really realizing oh that illusion that they hypnotized me with that i had to fit in like in some dystopian nightmare nah i'm that powerful you know they love it when people feel like you know i'm talking about the enemy team here they love it when people think they're on a prison planet or some shit like that and i get it i get why it's so hypnotic to us sometimes that we're like whoa the fear can take over right they love it when that happens because it means you totally disconnect from your higher self and give them exactly what they want and then you help them to create inadvertently then you help them to create the reality they want you to create okay and if we keep creating 3d reality then the people who rule the 3d keep getting to be at the top of that little tiny pyramid well there's a bigger pyramid in town okay the pyramid of each of our higher selves oh oh pyramid right the higher self creating your own pathway with your own beautiful mind so be uh you know be aware that sometimes we can feel like we're being lazy when we pull ourselves out of working hard and doing the things they brainwashed and brain trained us to do you know with their crappy schools <laughs> but um, they're saying here don't be afraid to pull out and relax and be in the holiday you know the holiday mode okay be in holiday mode and that's that's your real true nature to chill and relax queen of cups energy very graceful very flowing very aligned with the things that feel really good so defend this seven of wands you've you've established a new sovereign positioning where you're not taking anyone's crap anymore okay and you will not be gaslit or cajoled or controlled by people who actually probably will never ascend okay not all humans on this planet will ascend to the next level energy can't be destroyed so some souls when they keep failing over and over again their soul will be repurposed it takes a long time for that to happen you've got to be a real fuck up and a real asshole for many 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 lives and mess up your own you know free will or mess up your own reality by misusing free will but here you know you are you're you're, you're rising to the top here they want me to show you the crown on here accepting your crown and accepting your sovereign immortal nature so write that in the comments i accept my crown i can feel my crown and uh, i'm activating my crown and you know you're a conduit for love and that can sound quite boring you know when we hear people going on about love 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 all the time but there are infinite different ways we can love and infinite different types of love and you know all the different venus signs and their different degrees and positionings in the birth chart show us how infinite love is so i feel like you're branching out on so many different directions and turning you know turning your life into artwork okay with all these different options again with this nine of cups there's a lot of different potions available to you so i feel like you're getting hungry for the things that you're passionate for and the things that invigorate you and the things you can focus on that are so sweet and so beautiful four of swords you know we can get quite trained into feeling like there's something pressuring us to do this or to make money that's the trickery guys that's the trickery we have to really pull back and flow and you know not fall for that illusion and then the abundance flows in okay so yeah i feel like someone's breaking out of the former pressures of the mind and really realizing you know what? i'm immortal i can live in the loot lounge i can literally be in an oasis of my own mind via my own choice my free will choice and uh, then you will notice the universe will start working with you here page of wands with the three of cups yes a new doorway of passion of fun excitement and this doorway is being created by the things you're actually rejecting okay and i'm going through this in my life some people just can't let me go they just can't let me go and they don't really like me but for some reason they just have to keep in contact with me for some bizarre reason so you know we have to go through this it's nothing personal you know but i have a i have a trajectory that i'm on and i have to spin off some energies that simply every time i deal with them i have to visit them at their level of consciousness and uh you know i can't do that anymore because my family my soul group and uh you know it's not just about breaking generational curses it's about what are you going to rebuild in the place of what you've 
healed essentially because really when we heal something we're replacing it with something else so we're letting the old shack of misery uh, be demolished and we're building a sovereign palatial paradise kind of family unit in its place okay everything runs on familial blueprints in this round we're never really alone and i feel like this is soul group this is a beautiful elixir that you're conjuring up there's a lot of richness in this reading saving energy there we go key yes key to the castle baby you're saving your energy you're redirecting your focus knowing that what you focus on and what you build momentum with in your focus will and must according to universal law be reflected in your outer reality so yes the rejection of of things that just aren't meant to be on your pathway is what's giving you this superpower this love the superpower of love type that in the comments i've got the superpower of love focus focus there we go you are literally using your beautiful theater of the mind your infinite powerful you know human minds are so powerful and your focus is so powerful and you're realizing now you know what if it's okay for the tiger to defend itself in nature then why on earth is it not okay for humans to do the same thing intellectually or you know in any way so someone here is breaking out of the former prison of the mind where they felt like they had to well, we all do it we all flow into what we are born into and there's the trickery right there's the trickery we just want to be loved and accepted and that's what they get you with they get you with your own love so you're realizing now there's something about i don't need your love i've got the love of god or i don't need your love i've got my own love or i don't need your love and this is with regards to someone that you're rejecting i can conjure up more love alone you know just zoning into my soul group's energy than uh you know whatever this connection this nine of swords thing was bringing you okay so let's have a look one more of these i'm hearing i've got the key i've got the secret i've got the key to a, another day oh i love it i love it give me the singles okay hidden knowledge oh baby oh baby so you've got the key to some hidden knowledge here and i feel like that's to do with your work eight of pentacles with the queen of cups Okay, they want you to have pure faith in this, pure faith that what you're doing is unique to you and it's needed. You need to blossom like the unique flower that you are. There'll never be another combination of higher self and vessel. We're all very unique, although our higher self is immortal. The vessel we chose creates a certain concoction of energy that is, you know, is a, a one once in a million year. It's a once only event, you know, it's, it's only going to happen one time so they want you to really blossom like a rare flower a rare unique gorgeous flower okay it's that uniqueness here that they really want to get across we've got home base so again they give me that four of swords they want you to make your home base your sanctuary um you might want to sage i don't know you probably already do that or you know make your home uh, your own personal fortress here and and don't let in these energies that uh you know you've had instincts about something or someone here and they want you to be a full on powerhouse and let those energies go if you've already had that instinct you know okay i'm gonna pull a few oracles okay let's have a look yeah that song's in my head oh see britain in the 90s they give you this image of it's all the queen no 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 she's irrelevant to us okay my city was so cool in the 90s with all those beautiful songs and everyone was in their higher self and for some reason they've they've gone the other way now a bit it's a bit sad really got 24 time for a nap four of swords so it's okay to relax it's okay to allow your mind to disconnect from anything that you know maybe you're bored with or you just don't want to focus on it anymore so they want you to reclaim your focus you can type that in the comments i'm reclaiming my focus and then we've got the yang realm energy so i feel like it's time for a nap it's time for a rest so that you can power yourself up and only focus on the things that you're passionate about that are worth your precious time on earth yang realm energy it's all about only acting in ways that are Mm, they're giving me the solar plexus things that really fire you up and things that you really want to be involved with number one we have to put number one first to access our higher self and then be of value to others so yeah yeah definitely you are floating on up okay I'm, I'm seeing an oasis like you're coming out of the murky waters and you've created like this own oasis desert island or you could be in the process of doing that 
got orphaned here, number five, okay? But there's power in feeling orphaned, my darlings. It's so liberating for me to not have to answer to anyone, not have to be stuck in patterns that don't suit me and to have my freedom and independence. So this is a number five card. And I would say that you're shifting your perspective with seeing yourself as perhaps orphaned or, you know, you're, you're realizing that sometimes it's better to have that strength of individuality. We've got all that glitters here, okay? So there's something, someone watching here, an etheric being, number 16 card, and you're realizing that the masks that people wear, they have to maintain their act because that's all they've got, okay? And there are too many people on this planet, they're getting all, they're getting all nervous. I've seen some really nervous comments. Uh, you know, guys, the ones that leave me shitty little comments, they're rare, but I get so much energy and information when they leave those comments. They don't understand. When they throw out their bridge onto my pirate ship, I get access to all their energy. They're dumb, they don't get it. So yeah, people are scared around you that you're seeing the truth behind the mask, okay? And you're seeing that it's fool's gold and it's all an act. And who needs to put on an act in this world? You know, the ones who are scared of people seeing what's beneath, what's under the cloak, okay? But, ooh, yay, 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 okay. Breathe. So we've got that relaxation again, just totally mellowing out in your immortality. We've got blessed and we've got peace. So this is you really getting into that loot lounge, into that beautiful heaven of the mind, you know, letting the garden of the mind blossom. And then I feel like you're going to really make some big moves with this Yang Ram energy. So you're building your power right now so that you can maybe release some hidden knowledge or, you know, do something, tell your own truth. And you don't need a mask. You know, this owl is stood on top of the mask. Like, you know what, I'll use you as an ornament mask because i don't need to put on an act i'm the real thing okay type in the comments i'm the real thing i don't need an act i'm blossoming the way god made me god made me unique i don't need to fit in with other people i don't need to you know be a factory install human you know so we're breaking free guys okay and you're building up your energy here and uh, these masks, <laughs> they're going to be ornamental very soon. You know, these people are squirming. They're like, oh, no, they invested so much of their, they put their chips into the fakery pile. And now they're realizing it's not going to pay off for them. We've got between worlds. So this is you. you you're relaxing into your own oasis and creating uh, a much more beautiful inner world, I would say. You're realizing you're free to create the inner world you want and that the universe must match your inner world with your outer world. And then you're getting, oh, wow, look at these cars. You're getting all this power built up to go the distance. So, you know, they're showing me the arrow being pulled back, you know, which is the four of swords, resting, relaxing, recharging, building your own heavenly oasis in the inner world, and then going for all the milk and honey, okay? You've got something unique here with the eight of pentacles and the queen of cups. They want me to reiterate that. It's the unique way you love, your unique essence, your unique elixir, We've got the yin realm energy here, preparing your frequency to receive the bounty that the universe wants to flow into your life, okay? So you can put that in the comments. I'm, you know, creating a beautiful frequency in my mind, which is affecting my body and my inner world. And then all my bounty is going to magnetize into my life. These uh, fake ones are going to spin off of your your inner world you know you've got this you're an you're an island you're like an oasis and uh they're trying to get in they're trying to get onto your island but their frequency isn't matching so they might try and claw you back and it's just the way the world works okay they get a bit squirmy when they can feel good energy moving away from them but you've got other stuff to do okay so it's nothing personal to these people but you've got things to build and i'm getting that you're rebuilding a beautiful world after you've broken a lot of generational curses so i want you to give yourself a rest and know that it's you resting and raising your frequency up to that golden state of being just pure peace and harmony in the lounge of the gods and the deities that's going to give you the key to this hidden knowledge and to being very unique okay this is like yeah, they, they want to praise you for breaking out of the former mindsets you were in and, and to really become magical and embrace that magic and understand your mind is a powerful focusing mechanism and it's your mind. Okay, God wants you to know you are made in his image. Uh, you know, it's, and what does that mean, guys? I'll give you a little key here. You were made in the imagination of God. It's just the translations get a little bit 
funky, right? So we live in a dream. We live within the mind of God and your mind is of God. You've got freedom. There's something about freedom here, really embracing your freedom, not letting silly, misguided humans make you feel like you're doing it wrong. Okay. <laughs> So this is beautiful. I hope this reading has helped somebody. And guys, you know I love you. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back and catch up with all your comments. And um, mwah, love you loads.